Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for the July Taroscope for Sagittarius. hot. It's the 4th of July. You may hear my neighbors having a party. Um, I just turned off the air conditioner and I do not have my fan on, but I may have to get up and turn it on if it gets too hot. I had to re-record your reading and two other signs readings. They just didn't come out and I wasn't able to upload them. So um, this is the second time I'm doing your reading and maybe this one will be even better than the first one that I thought I recorded because it was a pretty awesome reading. All right, so we have the um, Art Nouveau by Ant Antonella Castelli is the deck we're using. And for the Oracle cards, we're using Susie Cherub's Star Temple Oracle. Very awesome cards. And let's get into it. So weeks one, two, three, four. So the first card is the Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands is usually the card in the Rider Waite deck that tells you that you're having a happy celebration of some kind. In this deck, it's more about relationship. It usually talks about <clears throat> wanting a serious relationship. It talks about alliances that can bring the end to a difficult situation. So if you are in a difficult situation, Sag, then what you're hoping for is a relationship that will bring that to an end. The second card is the Knave of Wands, and this correlates to the Page of Wands. Now, in the Rider Waite deck, this would be a messenger bringing news, kind of the town crier telling everybody about what's going on. In this deck, he brings news about future collaborations and new ideas and things that are being born, literally, rather than just telling everybody in the town about the news. So hopefully this is a person that will be bringing you good news about the relationship and the ending to your troubles. And then we have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, again, in the Rider Waite, this is usually the card where the guy is walking away. So getting out of a situation or leaving a situation that you find yourself in. In this deck, she's showing that she is modest, moderate, but also insecure. So you're not 100% secure in your situation in this first week. So you don't quite get out of what's going on in the first week. So it's still in a bad situation, not, not quite there. This guy has news, but he's not exactly solving the situation for you. And I think this is probably you just feeling very insecure. And the top of the second week, we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, this is usually the guy juggling the two coins. So in this deck, she is um, in an embarrassing situation. She is uncertain. She is uh, anxious. And she's still in difficulty. So unfortunately, this situation is not resolving quickly. And then we have the Queen of Chalices. And this is the faithful wife or fiance who is um, sensual and romantic and, and I guess loyal. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's interesting. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles surrounding the Queen of Chalices. Very interesting. So the Ace of Pentacles is very much as it is in the Rider Waite deck, a commercial success, a favorable period, an increase in money, but also money that you create the opportunity for the money. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. In Rider Waite, this is usually the slow and steady knight. So in this, in this deck, he's trustworthy and useful and helpful. 
Um, but also he, he is the messenger of profitable occasions, they say. Interesting. All right. So now we have the three of cups and this is usually the card where you, the three women are dancing. And in this deck, we only have two women, but this is good news. This card shows that the two people, the two women in the, in the card are showing relief that they uh, have recovered or it's the happy end of something. So finally, by the third week, whatever your difficult situation is, it takes a while, but by the third week, it is resolving or resolved. And then we have the five of swords. And the five of swords, I'm afraid, is not a very happy card in this deck. It's it's showing defeat is very great. It brings broken hopes and degradation. So this is difficult. So whatever ended also broke you, or, or maybe not broke you, but also really affected you greatly. So you're very sad at the end of, of the third week. So you start out the month with some difficulties, you know, difficulties that probably not of your making. And it looks like with the four of wands here, the two women, one is confiding in the other, the other woman is the older woman or, or stand, the woman standing up is the one who is trying to comfort the woman who I'm assuming is a younger woman, but only because she's sitting down and you have, you know, the knave of wands for all I know could be a part of the problem even though he's bringing news, the eight of cups here, you're insecure about the situation. You're embarrassed and insecure about the situation. And even the two of pentacles, you're not quite sure what's going on. There is a feeling of insecurity, a feeling of things are not quite right. The queen of, of cups is okay, but that's not you. You're a fire sign. Cups are water signs. So you would be the first woman in the card, it's a wand, the four of wands. And the two, the, the um, ace of pentacles, maybe you had to do something where you kind of had to buy your way out of the situation. Now we do have the knight of pentacles who is trustworthy, but again, not a fire sign, not you. Even the three of chalices is saying, yes, there's an end, there's a resolution to this problem. But then the five of swords shows that it ends in literal emotional defeat. So you feel very defeated emotionally. Let's see what comes on here. We have the King of Wands, so or, excuse me, the King of Swords, and he's kind of a baddie in this in this uh, in this deck. He is not a nice guy. So the King of Swords has this woman. They're both in flagrante a little bit, and. Um, he represents authority and power and legal pursuits, but also perversion. So that's not very good. So that's not you. <laughs> Let's hope that's not you. But then we have the star. So things do work out for you at the end. Things do work out. Favorable omen, new ideas, peace, hope, dreams, dream come true. You know, you're you're seen as the the favored one. And the ending card, unfortunately, is the Eight of Swords. And again, in the Rider weight, the Eight of Swords is not a real happy card. That's the woman who is, um, you know, surrounded by all the swords, and she can't see that she's blindfolded, so she can't see that she's very loosely bound and that she could get out of the situation if she wanted to. And in this one, it says one of the worst risks in fighting is to receive bad news of crisis, fatalities, and betrayal. So I'm sorry, Sag, this is not a real happy reading for you. So I don't really know what to tell you except to stay in the light, try as much as possible to shun all the people that might wish you ill, try very much to um, keep your keep your spirits up, keep yourself very high vibe. The planets are difficult this month. They are they are gnarly, especially the second half of the month. It's especially gnarly. So I would say that you need to focus on 
everything positive in your life. Be very grateful for things that are going well in your life. And when it comes to some of these difficulties and challenges, really look within, look to your angels and guides for help with this and realize that you are not your circumstances. You are not the results of somebody treating you badly doesn't mean that you're bad, right? And it also doesn't mean that you're a victim. It just means that something bad happened. So you can deal with it that way. And, you know, again, turn to your higher self, turn to your angels. Let's read your Oracle card now. And it is Merope, the fallen star. And it says, shame. I no longer hide my face. I step into my light with love. So it's a beautiful, beautiful card. There. And I'll read the whole thing out of the guidebook for you. It's a really pretty card. It says, star words are disgrace, forgiveness, relief. Merope, the fallen star, has overcome humiliation and past hurts with sweet surrender, self-compassion, and forgiveness. She has risen once again as a warrioress. It is safe for you to come out of hiding. The seventh sister of the Pleiades encourages you to release the past with love and starlight for liberation. Break free. Stop beating yourself up. You have the gift of free will. Use it to finally let yourself off the hook. Know that everyone has done things they are not proud of. You are stronger, wiser, and enlightened because of the soul growth you have experienced. It's time to let go and move forward. Excellent, excellent, excellent advice, and especially given what you're probably going to be going through for this month. And Sag, never forget, Britney Spears was a Sag. She went through a very, very difficult time, and she came out on top. It took a long time for her. Hopefully, you don't have to take 10 or 11 years to go through it, but she is now on top of her life and happy and married and looking forward to having a family with her husband. So, you know, miracles do happen. Um, and don't give in. Don't give in to the victim mentality and don't give in to the, you know, being down and feeling like it's your fault. Bad things happen to good people. It happens all the time. Just stay in the light and be grateful for what you do have. All right, Sag, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, go to my website, thecoolcrone.com. There you will see the card of the day in tarot. You'll see the moon phases. You'll see a chart of the day. You can look at all my services and all my pricing. So it's all right there on the website. You can also schedule a reading, pay for it, and get all set up all in one place. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a, have, a, have a good month of July, and I will see you next time. Bye.